Hello, hello. Welcome to Manifest Leo 13. My name is Harley and this is going to be for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for the support. I have been busy with personal readings, so um, thank you to everyone who participated in the uh, video reading special. Today is the last day to book that special, and all of you who have booked the Leo's Only read, I have appreciated that as well. So we're going to go ahead and get into a reading for the sign of Leo. All right, if you guys have not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscription button. I do go live on this channel, and I also post Leo-only content, okay? I try to post as much as I can, so if you'd like to see more Leo's-only content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, okay? And make sure you hit that like button and comment. That is how you guys get the readings to keep coming, is by interacting with the video, okay? So we are at over 2,000 subscribers in two weeks yes leo okay yes i'm so happy and i'm so proud of you guys for showing up for yourselves okay so we're gonna go ahead and look at what's going on for leo so this reading is going to be about what you are destined to experience um for the rest of the year okay what are you destined to experience for the rest of the year now this is timeless so whenever you click on this video it is going to be for you leo okay so we have fourth house roots oh wow okay I'm going to leave these two cards here and then we have fifth house at the bottom of the deck which is a great energy it's leo energy it's creativity so i love this because the void of course moon if you don't know what the void of course moon it's basically when the moon is transiting between signs okay that in between time is known as the void of course moon um anybody will tell you you know not to do certain things during the void of course moon um not to make certain decisions not to do, do certain spiritual work etc cetera, etc cetera. i've done a couple of videos on the void of course moon um but in reality the way that this is showing up in your life leo is this year you're gonna feel kind of lost like you're gonna kind of feel like okay i don't know what i'm supposed to be doing right now you're gonna be feeling like like you're floating is almost what I'm getting. Like, um, like I don't want to say a sense of no home, but I'm almost getting like nomad energy or maybe you just don't know where to put those roots at. So you're going to be feeling like some of you may feel unstable in some way. This could be financially. This could be um, I, I not not to say mentally, but it can be with the void. Of course, Muna can talk about emotional instabil um, instability. So you could be feeling kind of up and down, uh, especially if you're not feeling that security that you normally feel, especially around the home. Like maybe some of you guys want to move or you feel like you're going to have to move, but you just don't know where yet. OK, um, or maybe your business is kind of up in the air or your job situation is kind of up in the air. So that is normal when you have the void, of course, moon going into the year. So if you're feeling kind of like up in the air and you're feeling like I know I'm supposed to be doing something or I know I have a big decision I'm going to have to make um, and you, you're not sure what that is yet, that makes sense. OK, the good news is you have the fourth house coming out after that. So that tells me that you guys are going to figure it out. You're going to figure out where you're supposed to anchor yourself. So spirit is kind of uprooting you. They're like hanging you in the balance, letting things formulate in the 3D. And then by the end of the year, you're going to be like, OK, this is where I'm supposed to put my anchor down. This is where I'm supposed to be at job wise. This is what I'm supposed to be doing business wise. You're going to feel solid. OK, so by the end of the year, just know um, if you've been feeling kind of up in the air, kind of like I'm not in control. I don't know what's going on. I'm not sure what to do. You will know what to do by the end of the year. Some of you guys, I feel like this is even about a relationship. So for some of you, there is going to be some uprooting in your life so that you can prepare for a long term relationship that is going to be coming in for you. OK, so I do see that for some of you guys. But um, for the most part, the cool thing about this is during this time, you're going to be in a very creative space. The best way to channel a lot of this energy is into creativity. That could even be what spirit is trying to do for a lot of you as well. It could be like getting you out of some sort of mundane work and putting you into a more creative field as well. OK, but either way, stability is coming in. The fourth house represents the four of wands to me. So some of you guys are going to be buying a home. Um, look at that. You guys, I'm telling you, some of you guys are going to be a relationship coming in. It's a significant relationship with somebody. So we have the king and the queen of wands. I was getting you guys when you guys see these cards. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I know y'all like Harley. Can you stop predicting the cards before they come out? But I told you guys the four of wands. I was feeling the four of wands. Like I'm telling you, some of you guys, this has to do with a relationship. Okay. Like somebody, you guys are either going to meet someone or like 
life is making space for a particular person, okay? Now, some of you guys, if you are planning a move, you could literally be moving somewhere and meeting the right person. So I'm getting for a lot of you, there's an uprooting because spirit is trying to put you on a path that's going to connect you to a specific person. Whether this is romantic or not, I mean, it, it they are showing up as a soulmate though. They are showing up as the king of wands to your queen of wands. So, I mean, either way something stable is coming in by the end of the year i feel like this is going to be you leo whether you're a masculine or feminine leo okay just know that some sort of stability is coming in and like i said for a lot of you it's going to have to do with a partnership okay this could be a scorpio fire sign capricorn okay so i'm going to go ahead and shuffle out your cards but i'm telling you the four of wands has something to do with this reading so i wanted to show you guys that when i cut the deck i saw the four of wands so Let's see what's going on for Leo. What is Leo destined to experience by the end of the year? What fated destined event is Leo meant to experience by the end of the year, Spirit? What is Leo meant to experience? Make sure you hit the like button, guys, if this resonates for you, okay? Hit the like button. Make sure you uh, share this. We got like 8,000 views last, like the last video in a day. Amazing, Leo. Let's see if you guys can break the record with this one. All right, so we have the five of wands. All right, more Leo energy. We have the two of wands. Instigation is what I'm hearing. Instigation, instigating change. Travel. Some of you guys are going to start experiencing like impromptu travel. Like this might even, like this could be travel that you're not even like in the mood for. Or like maybe you even doubt that you should be taking these trips. Because you're like, well, everything else in my life is not going the way that I planned it. Should I really be traveling right now? Is this the best time for me to be going out and traveling? But I see you doing it. And I feel like spirit is actually allowing this travel so you can get your mind off of your day to day. So if you're experiencing some sort of travel or fun and you're in your head like, should I be even experiencing this? Should I even be going out and having fun right now? Spirit is saying yes. Spirit is saying, um, I've just got in my head when um, in uh, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them when Newt says, if you suffer, if you worry about something, you suffer twice. So I literally just heard that in my head. So basically, that's kind of the energy that spirit wants you in right now. Not suffering through things that you can't control or worrying about. It. It's just creating un unnecessary stress. That's what spirit is saying. So we have the justice card that wanted to show itself up too. Okay, four of swords. That's sun and Libra. So some of you guys may be connecting with a Libra. All right. So let's see what this faded event that you're meant to experience. So instigation is coming to mind. Again, challenges that may be appearing in your life to make you get on this path of feeling like you need to change something up here. So again, if you're feeling challenged, whether it's by people, places, circumstances, it's instigating a change in your life, okay? So we have the devil card. We have the nine of pentacles, okay? Devil and the nine of pentacles, queen of swords. Some of you guys could be traveling with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, whether it's a friend. I see heavy Libra. Hmm. Spirit is like instigating this change because you guys aren't letting go of this thing willingly. You're, whatever this ending is that's happening for you, Leo, it's like you're not letting it go willingly. It's like coming with, again, this emotional um, loss card with the five of cups. You're like mourning whatever spirit is trying to take out of your life, Leo. Uh, some of you guys, it could literally be an air sign that they're trying to take out of your life, like a Gemini. Um, I'm getting it could even be a Capricorn, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Libra. All right. Some of you guys are trying to get you on the path of being single. If you're already single, then they're trying to get you to date. Okay, and they're also trying to get you to increase your standards with the Nine of Pentacles, especially for those who want to get married. If you're trying to get married, Spirit is kind of chuckling a little bit because they're like, okay, well, you got get you got to get rid of the F boy or the F girl. If you want to get married, if you actually want a relationship, why are you mourning the F boy or the F girl? We're actually trying to give you what it is that you want or whatever type of partnership that you want. Um, I also see like really good finances coming in because of this change. Okay. Five of Wands, Devil, the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles and the Devil to me is like being really, really um, financially stable, like seriously financially stable. So whatever this is that they're trying to end for you, it's like you're not wanting to let it go because I don't know if you see the other side of this and you're worried like, what am I going to do now, now that this is over? 
or I didn't want to let this person go. This was somebody that I wanted. I wanted to be with this person. But Spirit is saying, why would you want to be with this person? That's what Spirit is saying with this devil card here. Okay, so let's get some more about what Leo is meant to experience. So I see the number one thing is an ending, like a very big ending in your life is happening for the rest of the year. And it's something that you don't, you're not let, wanting it to go. Like... And even I feel like you're um, with the five of cups and the ten of swords here. It's like spirits actually teaching you how to let go of things that aren't good for you. Like stop fighting it. Because that's another thing that they're trying to show you is like the people that you're connecting with or the job that you're connecting with. It's like draining you in the long run. And it's like spirit is trying to get you to stop hurting yourself. Like, I need you to see, Leo, where you hold on to things too long, things that are not going anywhere. This could be why you're even feeling lost, because you've been putting energy into things that weren't going anywhere anyway. And that's why you feel lost, because it's like the end of the road. Like, oh, okay, I thought this was going to, no, this is not producing anything. So Spirit is saying we need you to get more um, selective about what you're entertaining, so we can get you some things that are going to produce, right? So let's get more about this faded experience, the temperance card. The strength card, yes, Leo. Independent, self-made, okay? Two of Swords. Yeah, some of you guys are holding on to a Gemini or a Libra that needs to go, or an Aquarius. Rest keeps coming out, Four of Swords. So a change that's coming in that you're eventually going to allow. You're eventually, you're, you're gonna let something go this could be job and career. And then by the end of this, you're going to feel peaceful with the Four of Swords. You're going to feel peaceful. What's this Four of Swords about? Four of Cups. The world. Yeah, you're going to feel peaceful about it. The sun. It's like I, we were kind of talking about this. How you guys are like kicking and screaming. Like, no, don't take my four coins. Don't take the four coins. They're like, we're trying to give you nine coins. Why do you want to hold on to four coins? We're trying to give you nine coins. Or why are you trying to stay in that neighborhood that's not good for you or that apartment that is so small you're outgrowing? We're trying to give you bigger and better with the world card. So if there's going to be a level up that comes in that eventually you guys are going to feel peaceful about. You're going to be like, you know what? I was so worried about holding on to this karmic situation, the devil card. I was so like, some of you guys, there's like literally different people that you're talking to who are like i want to say all karmic but it's like the options that you're coming into the year with whether this is career some of you this is your clients who are, are like negative some of you guys have like negative like some people like especially if you do spiritual work i see there are clients who may be wishing you bad evil eyeing you or even sending negative work your way okay um or just clients that drain you and don't give you back what you put in Okay, it's like you're coming into the year with some sort of like trash options. I hate to say that with the devil and the five of wands, you have many different options and they're all showing up with the devil card on it. So spirit is saying like, we really need to look at what we're putting our energy into and why are we just getting, why are we connected with these toxic energies? So spirit is bringing you out of these toxic energies. By the end of the year, I see a level up for you where you're going to be very happy that you let go of these karmic things okay a lot of you guys are going to be learning sexual discipline too that's another thing that i see because i think some of you guys could have like f buddies friends with benefits and that's really what's connecting you to these people is the sex like you might be seeing it as more than that but in reality these people are kind of like wanting a p i'm hearing a piece of me by britney spears so it's like these people are very sexually attracted to you, but do they see you for you? Do they see you as this nine of pentacles? Okay. So spirit is really clearing a lot of karmic blockages out of your life in the form of people. This can be friends, clients. So a certain business that you've been doing may go to, you know, go to the wayside. And it's because the clientele that you were dealing with wasn't appreciative of you or was not giving you back what you were giving out. Okay. So one of the main things that I'm seeing that you're fated to experience, Leo, is a level up, um, something that's more on your level, nine of pentacles with the uh, strength card, something that you're, you're going to get in return with the sun card, happiness and fulfillment that 
matches what you give, Leo. You're going to get the life that matches the amount of effort that you put in. Because that's one of the biggest problems that Spirit was having was that you were not living a life that showed or mirrored all the energy that you were putting in. Like you were not getting, you weren't living that life. Okay, you're putting all this effort, putting all this energy out and you're living like a subpar life in, in um, Spirit's eyes. They're saying you should be happy, you should be flourishing. You should be married if that's what you want or whatever type of relationship that you want, that's what you should be in, okay? So let's see uh, about after this change comes in for you, Leo, let's see how this is gonna affect your finances. So a big, a major karmic cycle is ending for you this year, Leo. So let's see what's going to happen with your career and your money after this change. Again, you guys, make sure you hit the like button if this is helping you, if this is giving you clarity. Okay, make sure you hit the comments. Let me know if it's resonating for you. Okay, so let's see what is going to be coming in for you once this change happens for Leo. Once Leo clears this karmic blockage, what's coming in for finances and love for Leo, please? finances and love for leo if you want to get your own personal reading like this for the next 30 days where i look at your love and your money um check out the leo's only read okay so let's see what is coming in three let's see two it's coming in for leo and one all right so we have the nine of pentacles. Uh, yeah, Leo, you're going to be very financially stable, like I said. Some of you guys, self-employment or being your own boss, being able to create for a living, having time freedom, better boundaries with your money too. So people aren't going to just be able to come up to you with their hand out because you've learned from that, Leo. All right. Page of pentacles, creative work, also a new job for some of you. Maybe you've been feeling bored with what you were doing or again, you were like at a job where they didn't value you or you were doing a business where your clients were not even valuing you or even your clients were speaking negative about you. And I know it sounds crazy, but trust me, I just went through something similar. So it happens. All right. And I also see the 10 of wands in the temperance card. So not having to work as hard. So um, what's going to come in after this karmic cycle is like spirit is going to slowly start weaning you off of this overworking that you do, Leo. So if you've been feeling like you have to overwork, spirit is going to start bringing in circumstances where you don't have to work so hard, okay? This is going to be a, a work in progress, spirit says. It's going to be something that they feel like they're going to have to work, work with you on because this is something that you struggle with, yep, because you're so strong, Leo, but the strength card. So they're, gonna, they're actually going to be showing you that you don't have to be so strong all the time. I feel like they're going to be allowing you to make money smarter, not harder. Like I'm here working smarter, not harder. So if there's a specific skill that you're interested in that would allow you to work smarter and not harder, but make even more money, then that's the thing that I'm talking about, okay? So whatever that is for you, okay? Yeah, three of pentacles, nice, Leo. This is what I'm talking about. That creativity, okay, those multiple income streams, those, that, those real supporters, people who really support you and buy your work and like, uh, you know, pay full price for your stuff, you know, people who um value what you have to give okay queen of wands better boundaries yep better boundaries like you are not playing around you're not playing around it's like you're not sending anybody in your place to say no you're gonna say no yourself like bro actually i ain't got it or just as hard as i'm working you can work just as hard you know what i'm saying so you have better boundaries around you like you see yourself as the commodity you see yourself as, the, I don't want to say the product, but maybe you are the brand. You see yourself as the brand and you're like, if Leo's not doing good, if I'm not doing okay, then the brand's not okay. So you're starting to see yourself as the most valuable asset, you know, as your most valuable asset. I'm telling you, Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, there's something new coming in that's going to allow you to work smarter, not harder. And this is something that you're going to be inspired to create an idea Okay, and I'm really feeling like it has something to do with this creativity over here. Okay, the page of swords. This could be something that you're already eyeing doing. Okay, you're already thinking about this. You're already looking it up, researching. Okay, I also see possibly new love coming in for you guys. I'm going to go actually and pull for love now, three of swords. 
the six of cups yeah you're going to be kind of mourning the past because i feel like there are some people that you do still love them you know even though they may have not been the best people for you and you're starting to realize that now there are some people from the past who are going to miss you and i feel like you're going to miss them but you're like okay well that was fun you know <laughs> that type of energy yep the king of pentacles i'm sure he was going to come out eventually he comes out every reading so um there's gonna be somebody from the past who's missing you because you cut them off for a lot of you i don't know why i'm laughing but i'm just saying um the queen of cups interesting the empress wow okay so for some of you there's going to be a reconciliation with an earth sign okay capricorn taurus virgo could also be a cancer or a scorpio all right i see somebody wanting to have a family with you wanting to have a life with you and they feel like you moved on yeah three of swords nine of cups nine of swords yeah this is somebody who loves you a lot but they feel like you're in the space of loving yourself more okay yep justice and that justice card was in your first in your first reading so there's going to be someone who wants to make things right with you they want to get married like i said you're you're demanding more you're demanding more i feel like you guys have multiple different options though this person sees you as their um, soulmate. There's something about the way you're getting to your money right now that really like does it for this person. We've been talking about this. So whether this is somebody, I feel like this is somebody you guys already know. Okay, it could be a Virgo, Gemini, Aries. This feels like somebody you already know though. Could be somebody that you guys feel like have a lot of options or they're very sought after, very sought after person. Okay. But I do see this person wanting marriage, commitment, stability, okay? Um, this could even be someone that maybe you rejected in the past because you weren't, you weren't interested. Doesn't have to be someone that you had a whole relationship with, but there definitely could have been like a rejection from, you rejected this person. But I see a relationship coming in if you want it, Leo. Like, if you want a relationship, it's possible. Whether it's with a new person, old person. Let me get more on that Ace of Wands real quick for Leo. What's this new energy with that wants to come in for Leo? Clarify the Ace of Wands. The Two of Swords and the Emperor. There feels like there might even be someone new. This could be a new person here. This King of Pentacles. Believe it or not, I feel like this could be someone that you like reject. They try to come in and you like, are like, mm, no. Or maybe they remind you of somebody from the past. They could remind you of a Taurus or a Capricorn or a Virgo from the past or an Aries, a Libra. And you're like, no, you know, there's something about this person where you're not like open to them. And, and I feel like maybe some of you guys, there could even be someone from the past still in your life. And maybe you're not trying to let the new in or something like that. Because uh, for the Emperor, Ace of Wands and Two of Swords come in, this is somebody who's new in your life. But the Two of Swords makes you feel like you put up a blockage with this person. So maybe what happens is once you guys get out of this karmic cycle and you're in this Three of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles energy, you don't want to be bothered. You're like, actually, I'm in a good place right now. I'm very financially stable. I've gotten back on track. I'm in my power. I'm not looking for love right now. So this could be somebody that you guys literally reject not because they did anything to you some of you guys you'll know if it's that person but others of you this is going to be somebody who's going to be trying to pursue you and with the emperor here they don't seem too shabby because you got the emperor and the empress so this is somebody determined to make you their their person possibly even put a baby in you or something if you you know do those types of things so i don't know exactly who this is but they're showing up as your potential marriage partner, okay? It's given Taurus, Aries, like I said, Scorpio, it could be Leo, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Gemini, all right? So finally, that refrigerator stopped making noise. I was really worried about it, but I think the reading will be fine. But anyway, so that's what I see for you, Leo. Uh, if you feel like you're going through a tough time or you're clearing out some karma, you are in the best way. And if you guys want a marriage or relationship, I see that really strongly coming in. Also, owning a home, feeling very financially stable as well, okay? So I hope that this helps, Leo. Make sure you guys comment. Let me know if this reading resonates. Like and share the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, Leo? Bye.